Hey guys, this is Eckhart's Ladder. Hello and welcome to a Halo lore video. And I don't really very often do strict Halo lore videos. Usually it's a top five or some sort of comparison, but you guys really, really responded positively to my video yesterday. So I'm doing a similar video as I did then, except we're looking at the different types of capital ship weapons in the Halo universe. If you didn't see yesterday's video and you're not sure what I'm talking about, I basically broke down and explained the different types of capital ship weapons in the Star Wars universe, everything from turbo lasers to laser cannons to proton torpedoes and whatever else. Before I begin, I would like to thank Eric Ebu for all of their research help on this. He was really invaluable to the making of this video, as were a few other people on the Discord. This is especially true with Halo Warfleet just recently coming out. A lot of information has either been changed or added to the lore, so there's a lot to know. If you guys want to join in on the discussion on the Discord, I've got a link down in the comment section, also most likely in the description. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, you can also vote on upcoming video ideas, know when the videos are coming in advance, and basically just be privy to lots of fun insider information about the channel. There's also a link for that down in the comments and in the description. So as I've been talking about, today we're looking at capital ship weapons in the Halo universe, and specifically today we're going to try to look at both the Covenant and the UNSC. If we get serious time constraints, I may just cut it down to the Covenant, but I really think we'll have time to do both. I was really hoping to do a video on the Forerunner as well, but we just really don't know enough information about the kind of weapons they used, even with the recent Halo War Fleet book. Alright, so let's start with the Covenant, and as I'm sure most of you guys know, the Covenant rely very, very heavily on plasma-based weaponry. This can be compared with Humanity or the UNSC, who still use fairly conventional weapons. For a long time, and I'm talking about between, say, Halo 1 and Halo 3, the Covenant did only have a few ship-based weapons. The most notable and the most powerful of these weapons was the Energy Projector. And this is basically the large beam of light that you can see the Covenant using sometimes to attack other ships, sometimes to dig out Forerunner artifacts from a planet, or sometimes to glass a planet. Until recently, it was believed that the same energy projector was used for glassing as for warfare. With Halo Warfleet, this was changed. The distinction can be seen, for example, in the CAS class carrier. It now has one Infernus pattern super heavy excavation beam and then two Erpion super heavy plasma lances. So until recently, a single energy projector would have had both the excavation beam and the plasma lance. That is clearly different now, with the CAS having three energy projectors, each one with a specified purpose. Regardless, plasma lances, as they're now called, are extraordinarily dangerous and can easily take out multiple UNSC ships with a single glancing blow. The weapon is also extremely accurate and can be used at a range of 100,000 kilometers, so this truly is the most deadly weapon available to the Covenant. When the excavation style or glassing style beam is used against a planet, the results are disastrous, and this is what's known as Covenant glassing. It basically melts the surface of the planet, rendering it unsuitable for life. One of the other common bungee era weapons is the plasma torpedo. Now, back in the day, the plasma torpedo was actually made up of pure energy. However, now it's a magnetically guided projectile that does this very heavy damage, particularly against unshielded ships. Whether projectile based or energy based, the result is really the same. It delivers a large amount of heat and energy to a specific location, burning holes within the ship. This can be devastating, I mean, particularly for humanity during the Human Covenant War, where they didn't have shields, plasma torpedoes could easily take down key systems on even larger ships. Plasma torpedoes are typically aimed manually or automatically by the firing ship and are effective, like the plasma lance, at extremely long ranges. However, should the firing Covenant ship be destroyed, the plasma torpedoes often prematurely detonate or at least lose their targeting capabilities. But if you can't manage to destroy the ship, you are in trouble because Covenant ships will typically fire very large volleys of these weapons and they lock on and even if they miss, they can come around to hit you again. That being said, you can defend against them in several ways, by one, flying erratically like Captain Keys did during the Keys loop, or by using some form of electronic countermeasure. Like the Plasma Lance, these are really designed for use against large ships, and things like long swords should be able to avoid them relatively easily. Next, and this is really the last of the main weapons introduced in the Bungie era, is the Pulse Laser Turret. 
These are basically the Covenant's form of point defense turrets. They fire extremely quickly and are useful for taking out projectiles or fighters up at close range. Just think of like the main guns on a Banshee or a Seraph, and just imagine them much larger and much more powerful. Still, although these guns do excel in a point defense role, they can also be used against capital ships and they have a pretty long effective range like most of the Covenant's other weapons. Adding to the Covenant's short game, 343 has also recently added in what's called a plasma beam emitter. This is apparently a close range weapon though, admittedly, there's not very much known about it. We do know however that they were very powerful but had a short range and were quite difficult to actually control and aim effectively. One of the other new weapons is the plasma bombardment mortar. Presumably this is used with the glassing beam and other weapons when trying to glass a planet and it's also presumably somewhat like a scaled up version of the plasma mortar used in vehicles like the Wraith or the Revenant. It's very possible that the corvette we see in Halo Reach was using the plasma bombardment mortar when attacking the planet, for example, in the level sword base. Finally, the Covenant uses plasma cannons. These are likely fairly light, fairly quick firing guns. It was perhaps this, but more likely the pulse laser turret, which took down the space elevator at Corbula Academy in Forward Under Dawn. So as you can see, the Covenant have quite a wide range of weapons. Some of them are a lot more developed than the others. Some of them have only recently been announced in Halo Warfleet. Probably the most important ones to understand if you really want to understand Halo Space Warfare are the energy projectors, the plasma torpedoes, and probably the pulse laser turrets because I think that those really make up the main weapons on specifically the large Covenant capital ships. But on an even more general level, you should know that the Covenant strike very hard, very accurately, and from very far away. There are a few downsides to Covenant weapons though, admittedly. One is that because they are plasma based, they can be disrupted by things like solar storms or radiation or other things that would interfere with the plasma containment fields. Another downside of Covenant based weapon is that because of the shielding technology they use, when the Covenant fires they actually need to take down a portion of their shield. This can be exploited by smart UNSC commanders if you can, for example, get some sort of munitions within the shield and the shield will actually make things worse because the energy won't be able to escape and the ship on the inside will be in big trouble. Speaking of the UNSC, let's now take a look at their weapons. And the UNSC rely very heavily on coil guns, missiles, and nuclear weapons. The most famous and most effective weapon of the UNSC was the Magnetic Accelerator Cannon, often called the MAC. The MAC's often called a railgun, and that's not quite right, it's actually a coil gun, but it operates quite similarly. It accelerates a very large projectile to very fast speeds and basically pounds Covenant ships. In a way, it is a very basic weapon, it's very simple, makes something big go very fast and it does a lot of damage, but it works really, really well. Max came in many flavors or varieties, but when you look at a UNSC ship, you can often realize that the ship is basically built around the MAC cannon because it really is the most important tool available to the UNSC and UNSC ships are basically flying guns. But yes, the power of a mech could vary very significantly. On the upper hand, you have things like the orbital defense platforms or the UNSC Infinity. Those ships can use a single round, basically take out any Covenant ship. The ODPs, for example, could fire a 3,000 ton mech round at 4% of the speed of light. You can take out a Covenant ship very easily with this amount of energy and probably a few that are unlucky enough to be standing behind it. Then on the lower end, you have things like frigates, which cannot take down a Covenant ship, even a small one with a single round. Usually it will take two or three rounds, but often you'll have a bunch of frigates operating together and they'll time their mech cannons to fire in a way that a ship can be taken down with just one on volley. Max take a lot of power and typically you can only fire one before you need a reload. There are some exceptions, for example, the UNSC Infinity can fire more than one at a time and the Pillar of Autumn could fire three at a time, but typically unless you want to reduce the amount of power in any given shot, you're firing one and then recharging. Large ships like the Infinity will also use their Mac cannon for other purposes, for example to launch smaller ships, which is kind of cool and a very unique idea. While the Max were by far the most effective offensive tool on any UNSC ships, they did have other weapons. In the point defense rule, you have things like auto cannons. These kind of work like flak turrets, firing a lot 
of individual shots, trying to take down any close range fighters or torpedoes. He wouldn't use these against any capital ships most likely, but any smaller craft that got close enough could certainly be shredded by them. I always assumed that these would basically be large machine guns, but it turns out in Halo Warfleet that they're actually made up of coil guns, which is kind of interesting. Offensively, the UNSC also made use of Archer missiles, which were one of the most common UNSC weapons in fact. Typically archers would be fired in pods containing many individual missiles, and it was really this great number and just sheer overwhelming force which was most effective against the Covenant. That being said, Covenant shields were very effective at stopping archer missiles, so they'd really only be used after some sort of other weapon had taken down the shield. So imagine that the Mac cannon really cripples the ship but doesn't finish it off. Instead of wasting all the energy and recharging a new Mac cycle, you just use some archer missiles. Finally, there's nuclear ordnance, and I think it's pretty clear how a nuke would work. They put out a large amount of energy, which would vary depending on the yield of the specific bomb being used. Most of the regular yield nukes would not be effective against an ordinary Covenant ship, again, due to the shielding that they possess. However, it did create an EMP, which could be useful for taking out Covenant ship systems. The most powerful UNSC nuke, at least that we know of, is the Nova Bomb, which is basically nine nukes strapped together. This thing is powerful enough to destroy a planet, and easily took out 300 ships during the events of Reach. These really are the most powerful weapons available to humanity, and I'm sure now that the Human Covenant War is over, they've stockpiled a few of them. And that's basically it. Those are the main weapons used by the UNSC in the Covenant on their capital ships in the Halo universe. I hope you guys found this enlightening, I certainly did. I read through Halo Warfleet, which was quite enjoyable, and I also had a lot of help, specifically from Eric Ibu, who imported upon me some of his vast Halo knowledge. Anyways, if you guys like this video, give it a like, it really helps me out, and thanks to everyone who watched yesterday's video, it really exploded, and I really appreciate that. Anyways, thanks again guys, as always, this has been Eckhart Slatter, may the force be with you.